Harrison Butker set to get us started. It's two AFC powerhouses, the Chiefs and Ravens, underway in Baltimore. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. The Ravens offense going to work, and as usual, it's Lamar Jackson, the former MVP of the league, at the helm. Early part of his career, defenses really had to focus on his running ability, and they still do. But now, he's turned himself into a true dual-threat quarterback. When he plants his cleats in the ground and turns it loose, good things happen downfield. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. They'll run. This is Gus Edwards. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, those eyes that carry their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They run once more with Edwards. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. He'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38-yard line. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Here comes third down at seven. Jackson. Oh, look at the juke. Evades the tackler and now some space. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 36. A really nice gain of 25 yards. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. Edwards now on first and 10. Ronnie Stanley, former top 10 pick from Notre Dame. Here's Jackson to throw. A swing pass here to Edwards. So the completion good for six yards. And in second down. Well, it seems pretty clear on this opening drive that they want to get him involved, not only, Charles, in the run game, but in the pass game as well. And he can be such a weapon for them when they utilize him this way. And partner, you know I'm a veteran, right? In other words, that means a little bit older. <laughs> Back in my day, we used to call a guy like this a workhorse, except he carried the ball all the time. Now they get it to him a variety of ways, but you're right, they want to run their offense through him. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls or sometimes something a little more improvised as we just saw there. They'll try and run for it. Here's Hill. So he fought off the tackle, and that effort gives him the first before he's brought down. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. From the gun, they go to Edwards. 
He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. This second and four. Flowers going to go in motion right. And he'll get an opportunity with it on the touch pass. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. Throwing is Jackson. Powers passed him at the five. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. Oh, Brandon, that's a gamer move right there. Facing third down, steps up, calls his own number, and nearly makes the house call. If I'm the coach, I let him take another one right here, give him a chance to be the first one to hit the end zone after that effort he just gave him. No score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Baltimore. It's the Ravens in possession as they go to work on a first and goal. Edwards, he is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Defense really sold out there to stop the run. Understandable down near the goal line. Now on second down, you have to wonder, might we see play action here and a flip right over the top? Jackson gonna run and he's maybe gonna get this back to the four but that's about all call it no gain on the keeper and it's gonna bring up a third down driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive but now it's put up or shut up no doubt about it because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing but I'm just wondering is the head coach thinking is this four down territory might he go for it a big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Jackson now. And he's going to be swallowed up and taken down. Sacked back at the five-yard line. Chris Jones able to get him down behind the line of scrimmage, and it will be fourth down. And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in this first half, but this time they're able to hem him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match, and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you've got someone to tackle him. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they set up for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. 
They'll come up now, third and nine. Mahomes going to throw. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. Five yards, and that means they come up short as they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return. And the Ravens, they'll take over. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Now an option play on second down. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Second quarter, two minutes remain. 3 nothing. our score. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need to, give the, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. They set up the screen to Hill. And he's going to be taken down at the 39, clearly short of the first by a few yards. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. Waiting on it will be Richie James. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Now Mahomes. And he'll look underneath here for Edwards Hilaire. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now a third and six. Now here's Mahomes. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Pretty good location there on that throw. It really was, wasn't it? That was likely one where the receiver was either going to catch it or no one. Really good decision, and boy, what a catch and move right there. And a tough spot to get it over the middle. Looking for Kelsey on the deep ball. Oh, wide open, complete. Mahomes finding his tight end, Kelsey, for a big one. 46 yards. This is what happens when you get Patrick Mahomes time to throw. I know people worry about him moving. And I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it.
On second down, here's Mahomes. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well, and he didn't get that done on that play. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Mahomes to throw once more. That's complete to Tony. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. So just three yards on the completion there. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. We're going to call it 38 yards on the punt, no return, and the Ravens will get it. First and 10 from deep in their own territory. Now Jackson on first down. On oh, the throw led him too much that time. It's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Jackson. Got his target, that's Kohler. The Ravens gonna use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now it's Jackson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. Jackson on first down. Buying time to his left. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. So we're at halftime here in the Inner Harbor with the hometown Ravens on top. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome, everyone. All right, this one's been on. all we'll about the defense. Just a lone field goal in that first half. And as a result, not too much available in terms of highlights. But that's okay. We've got a full half to go. And to bring it your way, let's get back out to Brandon and Charles. These offenses seemingly still back at the hotel for the first half. 3-0 our score as the second half gets underway. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. 
Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. A run by Pacheco on second down. And he powers his way up past the 30. I think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. Boy, an effective play there, getting their wideouts involved in the run game. And what they're always hoping on that type of a play, that they can get to the end of the line and have a chance to turn it upfield as he did there. That means they controlled the blocking and took care of the defensive end or the outside linebacker to give him that lane. And I guess I need to clarify, I said getting their wideouts involved in the run game, but of course that was actually a pass as he popped it forward. First and 10, it's Edwards Alaire with it. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. Not the kind of game that will go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of game that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL. And Clyde Edwards Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength, he's going to get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. This one to the right, caught by Valdez Scantling. They'll give him four yards there, and it brings up third and five now. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Third and five. Working from the gun, Mahomes. That is caught, and he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. On first and 10, here's Pacheco. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Now second and nine. Mahomes now to throw. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. Here's Mahomes to throw. He's got his man, Valdez Scantling. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 23. The defense surrenders a 13-yard pass play there on third and one. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. They run it with Pacheco from the gun. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. 
I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. Second and seven from the 20. To throw, it's Mahomes. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Kyle Hamilton picks it. And the Ravens are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. And that has to be a little bit discouraging because after all their halftime talk, adjustments, and points of emphasis, their first drive ends with an interception. Absolutely aggravating if you're a head coach because you spent all that time, gone through every situation possible, and it still ends in a turnover. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. That's George Karloftis who fought his way through the line to bury him. Well, partner, we know they came out of the locker room down on the scoreboard, but I will guarantee you the defensive side of the ball got super emotional. They can come out and play with aggressiveness, with fury, because they don't have to be quite as precise, and it paid off for them on that play, didn't it? Sure did. Excellent play, really setting the tone for this third quarter. It gets them a little over half of what they need, and now they're looking at a third and five. Back now in Baltimore. The Ravens on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This will be third and five. Here's Jackson. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion. And that should get them off the field with a three and out. The Ravens send their punter out now. As he'll kick it away for the second time. Good coverage there holds him to just a two-yard return following a punt of 44. And the Chiefs are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and 10. They'll start the drive here with Pacheco. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 14-yard line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense was pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame whooping has turned into results. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Mahomes going to leave it with Edwards Alaire on the draw. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 15. A third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. He got out of bounds. That's a good thing, but still short of the first. And now, since this brings up fourth down, the defensive play caller, grab your nerves, because now you don't want to be so amped up that you give them a first down by getting out of your lanes, but you also don't want to just lay back and let them have it easily. Fielded at the 33. A good head down running on the return. Gets about 15 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays. 
but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. Now a shotgun handoff to Hill. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. But they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. To throw is Jackson. That one into the hands of Flowers. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. They'll come up first and 10 here. Mahomes. They'll set up the screen to Pacheco. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. Little screen pass, backdoored them, and that time worked well for a solid gain. Here's Mahomes. That's going to be caught by Tony. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Brandon's okay with what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and 10 now. Being chased out left. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Okay. Okay. I got my down for you. So the road a little tougher here. Now first and 20. Mahomes. Finding Kelsey. They find some open field here. I like what they did there, still keeping their tight ends involved. They understand it's not quite Hail Mary time just yet. Second down, eight yards to go. Mahomes. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. But that's caught at the 25. And he's going to be taken down. But there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold or did they rough the quarterback? The Charles are trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. About the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly... He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. Charles, what a big drive late in the fourth quarter to take this lead. And normally you're really excited if your offense has the ball late in the game. But I think this crew is really excited to have their defense go back out there because they haven't surrendered a point in the fourth quarter yet. They've helped make this comeback possible with their defensive play. Now they get a chance to finish this game off. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. Here 
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Returning it just as Hill. The return man is Hill. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Jackson and the Ravens, here they come. Down seven to three, 37 seconds to go. They need a touchdown. A field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and 10. And incomplete. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw's made. Where's the catch? Got a catch in that spot. Just over 30 seconds remain. Here's second and 10 now. Throwing. Jackson. Dancing to his left. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Well, this offense still has the one timeout here, remember. First and ten. Jackson to throw. Oh, and the tackle comes quickly. That's only going to get him a couple. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. Here's second down. Jackson. He's going to let it fly. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. And the Chiefs have just about sewn up this football game. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And they've got this one in hand. No timeouts remaining defensively, so this one should just be one kneel and then handshakes. Well, obviously, Charles, this was by no means an offensive track meet. I mean, the defenses were the story in this ball game, but, hey, they got enough points